Today, we're going to look at a fascinating aspect of Formula 1 racing, penalties. But we're not talking about any penalties here, we're talking about the most expensive penalties in F1 history. The amount of these penalties will surprise you. Ferrari was fined heavily for openly imposing team orders on Felipe Massa to give Fernando Alonso victory in the 2010 German Grand Prix. Felipe Massa was leading the race at Hockenheim a year to the day after his traumatic accident in Budapest in 2009. His race engineer Rob Smedley got on the team radio and said, Felipe, Fernando is faster than you, do you understand? Massa said to his driver before yielding position to Alonso behind him. Team orders, which were later found to be illegal, resulted in a $100,000 fine for Ferrari. Small potatoes for Ferrari, considering the extra points kept Alonso's title challenge burning. The stewards forwarded the case to the World Motorsport Council, which upheld the stewards' decision but declined to sanction Ferrari further. As a result of Ferrari's actions, the team order rules were deemed unsustainable and team orders became legal in 2011. USF1 was a short-lived American-led Formula 1 team led by Ken Anderson and Peter Windsor. Despite being granted entry to the 2010 F1 World Championship, USF1 did not compete and was investigated for violating the sporting regulations and the International Sporting Code as a result. The FIA became a creditor after imposing a fine of €309,000, equivalent to the entry fees for the 2010 championship, after the team went into liquidation before even entering a race. The team attempted to use force majeure to justify their lack of funds, citing negative media coverage, including a statement of doubt from then F1 boss Bernie Eccleston, but the FIA ruled there was no evidence for this. During the 2020 season, the team that evolved into the current Aston Martin squad was fined €400,000 after fellow midfielders Renault protested the Racing Point's front brake duct design. The situation began with a protest following the Styrian Grand Prix, with the FIA seizing the car's brakes ducts for a closer inspection after Renault complained about the design being strikingly similar to Mercedes' 2019 design for their title-winning W10. The design, it turned out, was a copy, but the situation became quite complicated. While the rules for 2020 prohibited the purchase of certain intellectual property from other teams, it was revealed that Racing Point had purchased Mercedes brake ducts for the 2019 season, when such purchases were permitted. Racing Point's look to the W10 for inspiration for 2020 meant their rear brake ducts were based on the 2019 design. The sporting regulations had been tightened over the winter of 2019 to 2020 to prohibit the sharing of brake duct designs. On the other hand, Racing Point's knowledge of the design could be proven to be from 2019, with the stewards ruling that the team couldn't be expected to forget what they had learned about the Mercedes brake ducts during the season the purchase occurred. As a result of this grandfathering of knowledge, the team was fined €400,000 for violating the sporting regulations rather than the technical. The team was also docked 15 championship points, and even though the design technically violated the aforementioned sporting regulations for the remainder of the season, they were not required to change the brake ducks. Aston Martin was fined $450,000 for a procedural violation under the new financial regulations which applied to the 2021 season. The first year with a hard cap in place to impose a limit on car and performance related spending for Formula 1 teams was 2021. To that end, to that end, each of the 10 teams was required to submit detailed accounts to the FIA for analysis and compliance with the $140 million cap. However, the FIA revealed in mid-2022 that only some teams had met all of the rules requirements. While only one team actually exceeded the spending limit, Aston Martin was one of two teams to experience a procedural breach. While Williams received a $25,000 fine for a minor infringement, Aston Martin received a much larger fine because it inaccurately excluded and or adjusted costs in calculating its relevant costs. The FIA's ruling includes a lengthy list of inaccurate costings. The governing body emphasizes that there was no accusation or evidence that Aston Martin sought or obtained any undue advantage as a result of the breach. Aston Martin was offered an accepted breach agreement ABA, which the team accepted, resulting in a $450,000 fine as well as FIA-related costs. 
Following the contentious 2002 Austrian Grand Prix, when Rubens Barrichello and Michael Schumacher swapped places exiting the final corner to ensure the German driver won, the Scuderia was hit with a massive fine. Barrichello was on course for victory when he eased off the throttle to let his teammate pass and consolidate his lead in the Drivers' Championship, as Ferrari team boss John Toad instructed. While team orders were frowned upon rather than outright illegal at the time, the team was fined because of how the podium ceremony unfolded. The World Motorsport Council ruled that summer. The World Motorsport Council deplored the manner in which team's orders were given and executed at the Austrian Grand Prix. However, the council believes it is possible to sanction the two drivers because they were both contractually bound to carry out team orders. The council also recognized a team's long-standing and traditional right to order its drivers in what it believes is in the best interest of its attempts to win both world championships. In the circumstances, the council reluctantly decided that it could take no action over the team orders given by Scuderia Ferrari Malboro at the Austrian Grand Prix. However, the fact that Barrichello stood atop the podium, having been ushered there by Schumacher in the embarrassment of the moment, resulting in the team's fine. According to the WMSC statement, the podium procedure was not followed. After finishing second, Brazilian national Rubens Barrichello stood on the top step while the German national anthem was played for Michael Schumacher. Schumacher then ascended the podium, where both drivers, rather than just the winner, stood while the Italian national anthem played. Michael Schumacher took the Austrian Chancellor's trophy, did not acknowledge him, handed the trophy to Rubens Barrichello and then took the Austrian Deputy Chancellor's trophy. It is the responsibility of each team to ensure that its contracted drivers follow podium procedures and do not embarrass the national authorities of the country where a Grand Prix is held. Both drivers and the team were found guilty of violating the sporting regulations and a $1 million fine was imposed on all three parties. Back in 2006, the Turkish Grand Prix organizers were given a $5 million slap on the wrist for some unusual podium politics, making them the first non-competitor to receive an F1 fine. Felipe Massa won the 2006 race for Ferrari and was presented with his trophy by Turkish Cypriot leader Mehmet Ali Talat. He was introduced on television as the president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. This did not sit well with the Cypriot community in Greece, nor with the FIA President Max Mosley, as it violated the sport policy of political neutrality. The World Motorsport Council summoned representatives from Turkey's National Sporting Authority and race organizers to answer allegations of violations of FIA statutes, sporting regulations and the International Sporting Code. The FIA eventually concluded that the actions were opportunistic, rather than planned, and issued a $5 million fine the largest ever handed out in Formula 1 history. Accepting the fine resulted in the Turkish Grand Prix remaining on the calendar. An annual race was held until 2011 before Istanbul Park was dropped from the calendar, eventually returning for the COVID-affected seasons in 2020 and 21. The previously mentioned budget cap implementation in 2021 may have caught two teams off guard regarding the procedure, but only one team exceeded the actual spending limit of $140 million. Constructors' Championship Red Bull were found to have committed a minor overspent breach of just under £1.9 million $2.3 million after a lengthy investigation into each team's accounts for 2021. The overspend breach, a 1.6% overspend, occurred as a result of Red Bull incorrectly excluding and or adjusting costs. Catering services, associated employees' social security contributions, clerical errors, and certain travel and maintenance costs were among the expenses. The FIA admitted that if a tax credit had been correctly applied, Red Bull's violation would have been just £432,652. After committing the violation, Red Bull was offered an accepted breach agreement that included a $7 million fine and a 10% reduction in wind tunnel development time for 2023. The monetary penalty is the second highest in Formula 1 history. McLaren received the largest fine in F1 history and the most significant penalty in any sport when fined $100 million in 2007. After a McLaren employee was discovered to have been in possession of detailed documentation regarding the design of the 2007 Ferrari F2007 car, the matter came to light as a result of the employee's wife taking the documentation to a photocopying shop in the UK and an employee of the photocopying shop becoming suspicious and contracting Ferrari's Maranello factory. 
As the FIA intervened, an extensive investigation began, with McLaren's Mike Colon and former Ferrari employer Nigel Stepney at the centre of the matter. On the track, the Ferrari vs McLaren battle was as heated as the off-track dramas. While an internal McLaren investigation found no evidence of wrongdoing, or that employees were aware of the Ferrari design, the matter was reopened after team boss Ron Dennis engaged then-FIA President Max Mosley after a terse exchange between Dennis and then-McLaren driver Fernando Alonso. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and post your video recommendations in the comments area if you want us to do more videos like this.